wrapping up Four Lords and maybe getting a bit more into the story. Depends on what time we have. But by the end of this, we should be done with the Four Lords. Hi everyone, Freelance 70. I know I'm not very... I just want this... I want this to be like a quick stream before we get into actual, like, into Shadowbringers on Sunday. Which, I mean, we'll most likely be doing either way if I do this or not. Alright, Bianca, let's go. We are here. Here comes the bo My earliest memories are not pleasant. From birth, I was shunned by man and beast alike. My snow white fur marked me a harbinger of doom. Cast out and until I struggled to survive, but I endured. I grew older and wiser. One day, I resolved to protect this place and those that called home. For in spite of everything, it was mine as well. In time, they came to see me as a guardian instead of a demon. Yet, for all that I've done to rise above the beast within, I may fall to madness and become some of their fears. I bet you're coming, you know. You're in good hands. Such confidence from one so young, but his age in and of itself does not confer wisdom. Nor does youth go hand in hand with hubris. I warn you, for centuries that has my art Mitama grown and festered. Hold nothing back, for I will not. Warrior, the time has come for you and yours to make ready. May the Kami grant you strength to save my soul. Jade Stoa. Ooh. Where is he? Please don't take too long. God damn it. Well, you know what this means. Story time, baby. So I've been thinking. I've been thinking over uh, Freya's next hairstyle, and I, I think I've I've nailed I've narrowed it down to two. Uh, this one that's a ponytail, but it leaves her forehead kind of open. But then there's also this other one that's uh, like a bun, a very small like bun in the back. It looks pretty. Because Freya is pretty. I'm very proud of her. I shall begin to want to maybe it's just step back. You kidding me, commence. Right as we even got here, man. Do not skip.
Did it work? It did. Ether may flow freely to the burn once more. Nice. <clears throat> Still feel bad for Magni, man. That guy. Hey, Sarge, get out of here. Get out. You haven't even gotten here yet. Get out of here. You haven't gotten here yet. This is spoilers. Bye. Have fun. I'm sorry, you did. You still love it. You did it. Thanks to you and Fred, of course. We've taken a momentous step towards securing our defenses. Now, as much as I believe a rest is in order, we should probably make a case back to the Enclave. Alright, the others may already have returned from the missions, and I would know how things stand. That's why, without further ado, then. My triumphant expressions, I'll take it all went well on the Azim's staff. Indeed, we have secured a suitable source of energy for the barrier. Good, Tatar and I have commissioned Garland Eye Works to ensure that the fuel generators function as they should. Team engineers stand ready to set out at the, for the burn at a moment's notice. You need only say the word. Thank you for engaging their services on our behalf. The minutia of the arrangement, you may leave for me. We're just seizing this moment of our alliance. So, Yuri and Hikuro, how fared you with our neighbors? My lord, all the facts you are in agreement with the. That the Empire proposed that, and the many responded positively to talk about uh, audience. Alliance. Higashi to Sui no Sato, however, we receive outright rejection. The former will not break its treaty, and the Empire, the Empire and the latter will not involve itself in conflict. This is restricted then. Well, there is not to be done about it. We must focus on the rest. To each of the nations that were meeting the bullets in the Alliance, I will personally send a missive. And once I att have attended to that, I believe we will have done everything we can to fortify Nova's defenses. Time being, at least. All of which means I have, I may leave for the meeting and I'll let me go with a lighter heart. Nigiri, Hakuro, if you use the kindness, I'll hold the fort in my absence. Yes, yes, yes. This is asking if you want to do pals now. Right now? Uh, no, I'm trying to get some stuff done. Sorry, Lunar. You may want to get out. Sorry. Shows me all, and I told, duly told, Uranjin, Kryle. 
Crow in particular was concerned about Alfino, but I assured her that everything that can be done is being done. She agreed to continue with her own tasks for the time being on the condition that I contact her the moment there is any development. So, who has to attend the council? Arnbald is here to assist with the security. Suddenly, though, the poor lad seems altogether too distracted for the task. Another one missing Alfino, I expect. But it's almost time. As soon as you're ready, present yourself to the guardsman at the palace entrance. I shan't be far behind. Now, we'll do this and then we'll do that. Because our main goal here is getting, you know, side stuff done. Watch it take, like, the amount of time it takes to go through those cutscenes. It's, it's gonna happen. Definitely gonna happen. I don't really know what to do now. You wanna watch, you wanna watch a video? You can watch a video. Oh, you think you're an angel, huh? Just an angel? Is that what you think you are? Bitch. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What are we doing on a... Nine? Okay. Come on, activate. Let's fucking go. Come on, man. It was ready when we we're doing that one cutscene, now it's all different. What the crack? Fucking stupid.
Oh, come on. Hey, Minnie. Pretty girl. I don't know what to do. I don't want to leave because I want to get in as soon as we do it, so I don't know. They really are going to do this to me, aren't they? Alright. As soon as I start that, it's going to it's going to pop. Fine. Let's do it. Then we'll start it up again. Mistress Lise, Commander Aldin, it gives me great pleasure to formally welcome the city-state of Alamigo to the Eorzean Alliance. The pleasure is ours, Your Grace. I know I speak for all Alamegans when I say that we are glad of this chance to stand with our comrades of the Alliance. And we for our part are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Lord Hien of Dorma, at your service. Pray, accept my heartfelt thanks for your generous invitation. Nay, tis we who must thank you for journeying so far. And it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the part the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have played in bringing all of us together. In times of great unrest, you and yours have been our constant companions, without whom we would not be here. With apologies to Lord Hien and Mistress Alize, it occurs to me that we have not gathered in this way since that fateful day in Uldar. The day I lost my arm and my freedom. As I lay in my cell, never did I dream that I would one day be given the chance to represent my homeland at this council. <laughs> I would not even be alive had you not plucked me from the jaws of death. You, Yugiri, and Elfino. Would that the lad could be with us. Just had to bring him up. I too owe my presence here to Alphino. In so many ways. Yeah. Until such time as he returns, 
I mean to carry on his good work as best I can. Come, friends. Let us leave the past in the past and turn our eyes to the future. My Lord Hian, pray tell us how things stand in the East. Having heard the rumors of dissent in Garlemald, I Garlemald. Dare to dream of a peaceable solution. Hmm. The Empire will not so easily change its ways. <sighs> if the Garleans have a mind to take back Doma and Alamigo, we'll be hard pressed to stop them, even with the might of Six Nations. But while we lack the strength to fight the tide, a course may yet present itself. If we read the winds aright. The winds suggest but one course to me. One which leads from the sea unto the river and thence to the source of all our woes. The Asians. Indeed. All here have felt their blighted touch. It was the bringers of chaos who nurtured the Archbishop's tyrannical ambitions. They who bestowed upon him the secrets of summoning, as they have so many others before and since. And while they remain, we shall know no peace. Our objective is clear. The question is how to achieve it. That our enemy parades about in Xenos's skin poses problems in itself, but ere we get to them, how are we to infiltrate the Empire and get close enough to strike? Bard. While I see the wisdom in targeting the Asians, an assassination attempt on Garlean soil would do little to aid our cause, even were it to succeed. It's time we used our enemy's preferred tactic, subterfuge. You have an idea? Speak your mind, Master Thancred. None here know the enemy better than the Scions. And you may have best of all. Whatever it is you propose, we will give it fair hearing. On that you have my word. Very well, Admiral. My proposal is thus. We dispatch the Shinobi to Imperial territory. There, they sow the rumor that the Crown Prince perished in the battle for Alamigo. And that the man parading around is in fact a corpse inhabited by a servant of darkness. Well, it does have the ring of truth about it. And were the Garleans to learn that their future ruler is a puppet, the Empire would be shaken to the core. But. At the risk of sounding stupid, would they actually believe such an unlikely story? I didn't. Ordinarily not. But prior to his miraculous recovery, rumors of Xenos' death had already begun to circulate around the Empire. Ultimately, however, what the masses believe is not our chief concern. Our true objective is to create an opening for rival factions within Garlemald to exploit. <laughs> Just as a war of succession erupted in the wake of Empress Solus's death. A war which raged until but recently, plunging the Imperial House into disarray as nephew and uncle grappled for the throne. It is no coincidence that one of Varus's first acts as Emperor was to name Xenos heir apparent, family feuds being so tiresome when armies are involved. Not all welcomed his choice of successor, however. There is no shortage of individuals who aspire to the throne, who would jump at any chance to seize power. The news that Xenos is not only dead, but a puppet to diabolical forces, would be too enticing to ignore. The Empire would not be quick to recover from a second war of succession. 
am no stranger to infiltrating Imperial territory. With a team of operatives gathered from among the Alliance's finest, the plan should have a reasonable chance of success. Dorma already has Shinobi in place throughout the provinces. We stand ready to act, and act we must. What say you all? I'm for Master Thankry's proposal. We shine a light upon the ASEAN and test the Empire's unity. It was his plot that scuttled Doma's negotiations, was it not? Why then, if we can eliminate him, there may yet be a chance for peace. Let us wage this war of subterfuge that we may one day lay down our arms. Gods know we never will while the Asians remain. History must be changed. I don't understand. Ahead looms a calamity. Ahead looms light, expunging all form and life. Twin dooms only you can forestall. Only you. What's the matter? Oh. There's... There's... a voice! Spies in our midst! Nay, I sense no such presence. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Through wide the gates that we may pass. The hardware? Why didn't Lise get it? Is it over? <laughs> Master Thancred. Oh God. Offend. Bear him to a private chamber. Have every healer make ready. Swiftly. Damn, dude. Master Thancred remains in slumber. Though his vital signs appear stable, he's unresponsive. What could have done this? And, and why just him and not the others? I'm afraid we could not identify the cause, my lady. Our examinations revealed no wounds, nor the presence of any poisonous substances. Gods, that only makes it worse. You're to let us know the moment there's any change, all right? Thank you for coming. Knowing Thancred, he would apologize for being otherwise engaged at so crucial a juncture. In gifting us a course of action, Thancred sowed the seed of all that is to follow. We have but to nurture it as best we can. To him, I would say, rest easy, that he may wake to enjoy the fruits of our labors. Now, the matter of the mysterious voice must not be forgotten. Will you tell me exactly what happened? Alizé and I heard a voice in the moments before Thancred collapsed. It was accompanied by a severe headache, as if something were clutching at our minds. Did you experience the same thing? So, in between the voice and the pain, you felt as if you were somewhere else entirely?
Your testimony confirms my suspicion. That which you experienced was, I believe, your soul being plucked from your flesh. Called. Called. I myself examined Thancred. Reach out as I may. I could not sense in him the spark of life that is his soul. Interesting. Just taken like that. <laughs> that Thancred alone was stricken so is likely due to his heightened sensitivity to the effects of ether. A consequence of his prior possession by the Asian. The Hebrea. The owner of the voice, whoever it may be, reached out to you, called your souls, and in so doing, caused you and yours such pain. But if that's true, where exactly are we being called to? I know not. Yet one thing is plain. <laughs> Whoever waits for you on the other side is possessed of a power unlike any I have ever known. Forgive us, Lise, but may we leave Thancred in your care for a time? As if you had to ask. I may not be a scion anymore, but I'm no less a friend. Don't worry. I'll see to it that Thancred's well looked after. Just focus on solving this mystery, all right? Thank you, Lise. As the Elder Seed Seer says, tis no ordinary individual we are dealing with. Examine him, Powell. We discount the Prowl? possibility of Asian involvement. Yeah. Whoever or whatever is behind this, the sooner we find out, the better. Thankred bit the dust. No, he lost his soul. His soul is somewhere now. Somewhere else. Who knows? Ah, it's Kingdom Hearts. Kinda. Alright, back to... That one. Alright. Sorry, Kalyaja and his Link probably did not spawn, but I dare to hope that he possesses some knowledge we do not. Organization 13? I mean, the Asians are basically... Oh, Rianji, something happened during the meeting. Thank you for the class. It voice suddenly started. What? That's... Let's talk about this in person. All right, we'll meet you there. That was Rianji. He heard the voice, too. In Thanaland? Hmm. As we alone were afflicted at the meeting, I had my suspicions, but the voice also spoke to Rianji. There can be little doubt. The scions were targeted specifically. And Lee somehow... She was a scion for a little bit. For a good amount. My human to what end is a question, one to which we must find an answer with all possible haste. Endure? What does that look like? You have learned the emote emo Endure. Yeah. I wonder why she didn't hear it. Possibly because she isn't a scion anymore, but who knows, for now. <laughs> I'm sure some people do. Anyway, let's see what uh, Endure looks like. That's her enduring. Look at her. Look at her endure. Alright. We take the rise of stones. If anyone has heard the voice, we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I must poop face. I should get back to me with other she's here. But if anything, anything I can do, anything at all, do you let me know, right? Promise me. Alright, so let's be on our way. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> ah, my back, ah, my back, ooh, my back. Hello, my Rouge. lady. God, it's good to see you. Would that our meeting were under happier circumstances. I judged the voice sufficient cause for concern even before you sent word of its effect on our comrade.
You heard it too, then. Aye. And all but certainly at the self-same instant. Alas, pained as I was, I could make little sense of what few words did then reach mine ears. Who do you think is responsible? Could this be the Asians doing? That I cannot say. Not when so little is known. Ere I indulge in speculation, I would examine Thancred with mine own eyes. Mine own eyes. To Alamigo then, without further delay. One other thing. During my visit to the Far East, I observed a strange phenomenon. Hmm. Thou referrest, I presume, to the localized reduction in etheric density. Well, that spares me the trouble of an explanation. Yes, I noted precisely that at two apparently unconnected locations. I take it the phenomenon is not limited to the Far East. Indeed not. Of late, our agents charged with surveilling the beast tribes have spoken of little else. In every corner of the realm, they tell of places in which the ether hath grown thin. Naturally, my suspicions first turn to primal activity, but the areas thus affected betray no evidence of summoning. I must confess. It must to be the lights. We've been doing too much good in this world. If the same phenomenon is being observed in multiple locations on opposite sides of the world, we may safely discount regional factors. Needless to say, this warrants further investigation. Indeed. I shall make it my task to. The voice. It calleth to me once more. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. No? Yishtola, Arianje, open your eyes. Shit. Open your eyes. Alfino has to be hearing it right now, too. Say something. Anything. Not again. Please. Not again. Call an ambulance. <laughs> Are you kidding? We can't get to... <laughs> this is an unprecedented predicament for the for the scions. Let's remain strong, least of us, most of all. Good voice as well. I will ask Tara to send her word of what has come to pass. I mean, that was an unseemly display. It happened before your very eyes, my lady. None here would have behaved any differently. We have borne the two of them to a private chamber, but tell, chamber, but tell me. Is it true that Master Thinker languishes in a like state now, amigo? I'm afraid so, though, given the circumstances, it would seem best to observe them together. I will send word to Lise that he should be brought here. Take heart, my lady. The world is full of scholars and knowledgeable folk of every persuasion. Some out there is bound to know what ails our comrades. 
and it may and how it may be cured. Thus we will rouse them, no matter what. That we will, Hori. That we will. But first things first. Our comrades will have questions. When I ask that you explain the situation to them, I must attend to, to a private matter. Oh, I promised I visit someone Limsa Limsa. He's been waiting at Maelstrom Command for a while now. You know, he should come along too. I think he'd be glad to see you. Who is it? Who is it? Who could it be? Jesus <gasps> <gasps> Christ, it's impossible to find anyone for these four lord fights. Oh, right. I can't wait for that uh, UI update where they show on the map where you're going to be teleporting. That is going to be so helpful. Who is it? Ah, uh, you probably guess it's Gabu. We've come to see. <gasps> Gabu! Private here will bring him out to us. Ever since the motion took him in, I've tried to visit as often as I can, and what group of our friends I was taken by the area to visit again. It's difficult to explain. Gabu! Yeah, boy! This is a dynamic camera angle. It might have voice acting. Gabu, my dude! Here he is, my lady. My lady. Gabu, it's been too long. I'm afraid there's been no change. If he can see or hear us, he has given no sign. Does he eat? I see. You're still fighting. I'm proud of you. Oh. Yabu. We promised that we would come and visit you together, didn't we? Alphano and I. I'm sorry that we haven't managed that yet. He said to go to the Empire, and now he's fucked. Ha! Ah. You know, with the three of us like this, does it not remind you of that night? Of the stars beyond count twinkling in the heavens? I was feeling pretty low back then. Powerless. <clears throat> I knew that my brother was close by if I needed him, and that the others would be waiting for me back at the Rising Stones. And yet now we're alone. Not like now. I mean, there's still people at the Rising Stones. Come on. Just gonna discount Hori and Aline and... Staru like that? I've seen my share of trouble since coming to Eorzea. Been reminded again and again of my limitations. Of how little I can change about this world. I have come to know the sorrow of parting all too well. But to have the people I hold dear struck down before my eyes and be powerless to help them, that, that I cannot bear. You don't have to bear this burden alone. And all the others whose names I just forget only for the moment, but I for sure know who they are. <laughs> no, I don't. You're right. It's pure arrogance to imagine I can solve everything by myself. You'd think I'd have learned that by now. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Probably be dead. Everyone here would be dead. We'd all be dead. If I wasn't here, everyone. Dead. Gone. Well... That's more than enough brooding for one day. Come on. We have friends to save. Dead. Ali say they they would be dead. Huh? <gasps> 
He's looking! <gasps> Gabu! I want a mini Gabu to follow me around. Give us tiny Gabu! What is is the tiny kobold named Gabu? Because if it's not, then I don't care. No, it needs to be named Gabu. It can't just be named Kobold. It needs to be named Wind Up Gabu. <laughs> they just need to uh, change it to Wind Up Gabu. Jeez, you're making me go everywhere, spending all this money. It's not like I don't have a lot of money anyway, so. I'm loaded, baby. It's because I do side quests, baby. I did some thinking on the way back, and I think Hori's right. We need to seek outside help. Ordinarily, we would turn to our own experts on such matters, but they're both among the stricken. I'll begin by reaching out to the myriad guilds and research institutions here in New Orzia. Ishtonia, Grimfather, and Minfilia had a wealth of connections between them. I need to explore those avenues, too. We'll find a way to save everyone. Mark my words. Much and more has happened in recent days. Some of it for the good, some not so. But all around me, people continue their fights. From the Shinobi, you search for Alfino to the Alliance members who make ready to move against the Empire. They march on in the face of great adversity, bearing heavy burdens. Everyone is playing their part, and so must I. You have your own part to play, I know, and it's bigger than most. So I won't keep you. Just promise that you'll visit from time to time, and I promise I'll have good tidings to share with you when you do. And I'm guessing that's the end of this patch. And we are now moving in, I'm guessing, to the final patch. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Meanwhile, at the Citadel of Doom. I'm good. That just, my throat wasn't ready. no longer present an obstacle. Now is the time to bring the Empire's might to bear. God, your voice is so sexy. A word from your radiance is all it takes. But one word, and the Imperial Army will fall upon Alamigo as a pack of bloodthirsty wolves and tear that feeble nation apart. Father, talk to me. Have you no words for me? Father! I want you to speak to me. Despite the lengths I go to. No, we'd have to pay a voice actor to do it. Sorry. Playing the part of a fool. When first I took this face, I swore to use all of my knowledge, all of my power, to further the cause of the Empire. My deeds stand testament. So the father knows that his son's being taken over by an ass. And with this adamant flesh at my disposal, I could destroy the Icon Slayer as easily as one might swat a fly. Why would you fucking say that, you dumbass? Why do you hesitate? Is he actually alive or is it just an ass? Well, he said when I took up this face, so I have to guess. Unless Xenos is just fucking around, which isn't... I wouldn't put past him. Xenos likes to fuck. Around. Our enemy is resourceful. Though victory is certain now. It's gotta suck to have shoulder pads like that. It's so like you, you indefinitely. You can't see down here. Like you can't you can't even see. Deliberate if you must, but be quick about If there was a Lolifo right there, you wouldn't be able to see them. Speak again when you have unburdened. A Lolifo could easily just stab him in the ankle. Until then, I take my Now does Arthur all have shoulder pads like that? Get used to it. And that, yeah, no, a lot of folk could easily come up and just stab him in the ankle. Boom. No ankle. Just obliterate them. Destroy them. Nah, plated boots? Alright, well. 
If you get like five Lullafos, you could probably tip like tip him over. I should be the one to sigh. Is that your boy? I played my part to perfection. I had earned my rest, and then thanks to La Habrea's crowning act of idiocy, our favorite emissary sees fit to summon me back. There he is. A little yeah! a warrior. A most tiresome trait, would you not agree? Oh man, to be the to be the person who didn't even know what would come into the future. You see this character and you're like, who's this fuck? And you realize it's the best character of all time. Long grown weary of this mummery. Now, my dearest grandson, let me remind you of your place in the simplest of terms. You do not make judgments, you administer them. Swiftly and to the letter. Naught else is your concern. Oh god, okay. Hmm. Elidibus may be an insufferable bore, but he is no fool. His choices as emissary seldom err. If aught threatens the balance twixt light and dark, it falls to you to remove it. Be it by your own hands or by your armies, you have ample means at your disposal. Oh god, your ear looks horrible. That is why this empire exists, why I built it. Oh dear, have I touched a nerve? You always were oh God. an easy one to read. <laughs> he does look like I pro Jared. I you, I do. As they say, ignorance is bliss. And oh, I the textures of the games haven't really bothered me. I know, it doesn't bother me either, I just noticed. You know. The Founding Father was an Assian, and he created the Empire solely for the purpose of sowing the seeds of chaos. Solus Zos Galvis? Wait. What's going on? I thought Don't he... take it personally. I thought that was a mid... So... I merely do my duty. And the Assians made the Empire? I guess that kind of makes sense. To bring about a calamity requires no small amount of power, and there is no surer way to obtain such power than by collecting powerful pawns. I see, you know, the Emperor's great grandfather. To yeah. That end, I yeah, they said. Yeah, he said it's like long and hard, and I must I play the game. I am Specs, I know. Pleased with my handiwork, poultry. Though it seems in comparison to Alec. <laughs> How far did he? Fiends are over fond of your own voices. All the stairs. I don't think there was that many stairs to fall down, but he fell down. <sighs> Such a waste of time and energy. Both yours ah, and no, mine. He's back. So if you keep killing him, will more bodies happen? Is this like an infinite meat disposal machine? Lest you forget you are emperor now. If you wish to spout drivel about man's destiny, save it for the masses. It will serve to give them a Come on! And you pliant pieces for the game. Oh. 
Oh, do stop sulking, boy. You of all people should understand. Ours is a struggle to restore both mankind and the world to their rightful state. Viewed thus, our goals are one and the same. I'm gonna get a fucking a bad boy sticker. And literally right after this is gonna come back to me and I I could have Oh no, actually. Okay. Meanwhile at a resistance encampment. Oh, hey! At the Hall of Justice. What's his name again? Shadow Walker? What in the world? Oh, shit. Sha no, it's not Shadow Lord. Dead, all dead, yet I see no wounds nor any evidence of battle. Shadow Lord, Shadow Walker, Shadow Bringer. Damn them, they finally used it. The Empire developed an alchemical weapon in Garabania. A gas, Black Rose it was called, and to breathe it is to breathe your last. That's why I got surgery to make sure you did. Which one was that one? Was that the one that gave me the Aether Current? That's the first one? Where you just got, like, you've, and you find the person who made it? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And that did this? I thought the project abandoned and its file fruit destroyed, but not else could have wrought such an atrocity. I said to do the quest, and it gives context? Okay. I don't even remember you telling me to do it. I think I just did it on my own just to find an Aether Current, and then I kept going with it. Because I thought the subsequent quest would give me more Aether Currents, but that turns out it did not. <laughs> Fools, what hopes do they gain with this butchery? Can they not see that a rule one through terror will not endure? How many more provinces must they lose? Nay, wait, this is not the work of men, but monsters. The Asians cannot be coincidence that their trail led us here. The objective was never to rule, but to sow strife and discord. Okay, you might have to do a full stream of, like, four lords stuff tomorrow. Such a crime does indeed bear the mark of the bringers of chaos. What is this music? Black Rose cannot be allowed to kill again. We must find the Asians and put an end to their plots. Dude, when are we getting the synth wave into this? Are we bringing the synth wave into Shadowbringers? Wow, and that's how one patch ended. That's I'm crazy. Come, though I'm afraid there's little in the way of good news. Uh, that's a shame. After you left, 
We reached out to both the Alchemist's Guild and Stillglade Fane and attempted all manner of treatments. Ah, my shoulder. Ah, ah. But the results were always the same. Whatever the answer is, it's not alchemy or conjuring. Why did it have to be Yishtola and Rianger and not me? Out of all of us, they are the ones who could feasibly have solved this puzzle. And Elfano's still missing. I guess between God, Major Connors, about three or four months. Where do we even start? Ah, God, that's. It's rough. A grave situation indeed. Might I be of some assistance? That's what happened then, 44, which is where you are right now, I think. Cryo, you're fine! Is it because some of your some of your echo was sucked out of you? Into the mysteries of Eureka. Who cares about Eureka? Let's move on! Imagine having to just hang there with this is the way it ended. Sobbing for months. Not to mention your erstwhile mentor. This is one of those Who gives a shit about Eureka? Regardless of my personal circumstances. Who cares? I Yes, I should have thought For anyone who hasn't seen, because I did it off stream, I started Thank Eureka, got well, all of the fucking text boxes, and was like, I'm good. And I should That's be enough for to today. It. Now, what's this I hear about Alphano heading into Imperial territory? That boy always did have some funny ideas. Do you remember the speech he gave when he was accepted to the studio? Alphano lore? Alphano lore? My life's goal is not less than the salvation of this star. He would say that. <laughs> <laughs> she even did the pose. Well, that particular grand pronouncement has been a source of great embarrassment to him, as you know. But the fact of the matter is, he meant every word and has lived his life accordingly. Yes, he remains altruistic to a fault. But I'm worried he was too fixated on his goals to see the dangers, as has happened before. You needn't be so concerned. Though his values remain the same, Alphano is not the blinkered boy he once was. Slowly but surely his eyes have been opened. Thanks to a certain someone. A certain someone whom he'd be mortified to learn had heard about his little speech. Mum's the word, eh? No, I, I'm going to tell him about it. I'm going to make fun of him for it, and I'm going to fucking slap him and kick him and shove him in the locker. They're in the infirmary, I assume. I'll need absolute quiet, so it would be best if I did this alone. I'm percent going to make fun of him for it. Excuse me. Sorry, are we friends? I thought we were homies. I'm changing the tile to wrapping up Stormblood. I don't know if we're able to get to through all of it in time. Glance, Probably not. I would say they were merely sound asleep. I think like 30 minutes, maybe an hour more. Except I do have to walk the dog. I couldn't sense the slightest trace of. And we'll be hanging out with my dad a little bit tonight. It's as if their souls have taken leave of their physical forms. Like a good son. Ah, oh, yes, the elder seed seer made a similar observation. I've read the report. When you heard this mysterious voice, you described feeling as if you were somewhere else, yes? Little mouth. Tiny cryo mouth. If we assume the ether which comprises your essence is being drawn to some other place, then it may be possible to follow the trail it leaves behind, just as we did in our search for Thancred. Cryo didn't hear it. Maybe it was because some of I her aether, that, her echo, sucked. It was easy. That is interesting. Oh, it wasn't. But that's no reason not to try. I will have need of Master Matoya's crystal eye if I'm even to make the attempt. So I suggest we pay her a visit. Hmm. The crow wasn't originally a scion. And it does didn't seem like Alfino heard it either. Going by what we saw of that cutscene that he was in. 
Alright, back to Matoya, I guess. Let's try again. 12 minutes! We probably won't be doing Four Lords tonight, I'm afraid. We'll make- we'll do a short stream tomorrow, trying to do all of them. If Specs wants to join in, he can do- he can do so. It'll just be like a very, like, maybe like two hours. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't take too long to do that entire quest line. You know, help sprouts? That's a lie, and you know it. Uh, yeah, it's just was raw. We're doing story. Yeah, we can knock it out tomorrow pretty quick. I heard Master Matoya was something something recluse, but this seems extreme. So I happily overlook her eccentricities if she agrees to help us. It's always Matoya that has the the right thing to do, huh? Huh? Nobody knows what to do. Let's go to Matoya. Can always count on Grandma. Always knows. Come to disturb my peace again, have you? I hide myself away in a cave, and still you people insist on pestering me with your problems. Yes. Oh, I mistook you for young Watch's name, but I see now you're the sister. Weren't you supposed to be the lively one? I've seen happier faces at a rain-sodden burial. Well, I'm sorry to dash your expectations, but the situation isn't exactly... Allie say, okay. come on! Don't use that tone! Ha, that's there. That's not like it. Stola used to spit in his... Stola. Better for a young thing like you to be filled with fire and leave the doom and gloom to your elders. Now, what exactly does this... Tragic situation of yours have to do with me. Stola. If I may, Master Matoya, we have need of your crystal eye once more. And Stola is one of the afflicted, isn't she? Stola. Very well. She may be an ungrateful stray, but she's my ungrateful stray, and I'll not see her buried before I am. She is my ungrateful stray. I feel like stray should be a slur for Mikote, you know? Calling him a stray. Like a derogatory term. Right. Let us see what we can That's see. That's the point of how much she cares there. Stola is not allowed to die for her. From where our friends yeah. first fell, and cast my senses out from there. I'm gonna support. I'll probably be ending the stream right after this. Gotta walk the doggy. Uh, let me look at the post Stormblood storyline, questline, whatever. Uh, 
Um. What is it? Did you find them? This, 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 this doesn't make sense. But, but how is it even possible? How is what possible? Kryl, what did you see? The, th the threads, they just, Four, five, they just ended. And, and no, I didn't lose track of them. I followed them as far as they went. Wolfie, do you got a shit? It's as if... It's as if they were cut off. Hmm. Could the ether have dissipated if it had? Oh, oh gods. Their bodies are just husks. It's like the broodmother's daughter all over again. No, no, th this is different. The Kalyana girl was already dead, body and soul, when Lakshmi affected her resurrection. Aye, let's not jump to conclusions. If their physical forms yet breathe and show no signs of wasting, then it follows that their souls must still be yeah, intact. Yeah, let's, let's calm down, Alisa. But where? That's the question, isn't it, girl? Death has not taken them to the ethereal sea, yet there are no tracks left for us to follow. We're no closer to an answer than when we started. But knowing their souls are still out there is progress of a sort. We just have to keep looking. Pray, excuse me a moment. Yes? I remember, but... What, to Alamigo? We're on our way. That was Lee's. Apparently, a group of Popularis have defected to Alamigo, and Maxima, the envoy Alphano left with, is one of them. <gasps> I'm sorry. I realize we've barely begun here, but... Go, child, go! You've made up your mind, and life's too short for dithering. I'll do some digging in the meantime, and see if there isn't some other method we could use to continue the search. Let's be off, then. Again, the enchantment barely seems to take these days. I chalk it up. It has to do with the aether. <laughs> Kryle's face. Before they took ill, Yishtola and Nuri Anger were sharing notes on the of the yeah, we can't have a thinning of the either. That'd be really bad. Be Does it now? And here I was, all set to blame my woes on that creaking mountain of refuse clogging up the valley. I think something has gone wrong. Still, there's naught to be gained from starting at shadows. You can only do what can be done. And that but one thing at a time. Uh, yeah. Alright. We are now six quests away from Shadowbringers, and I have to go walk a dog. So, tomorrow, Saturday, we'll do a very short stream to get the Four Lords stuff out of the way. Then Sunday is when we will finally finish up Stor post Storm Blood and get into Shadow Raiders. Or maybe we'll do that Saturday. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Specs, for sticking around. I'll see you guys later. She's going to be Shadow Bringing, and we're going to be changing her hairstyle. And I already I have two in mind that I, want, that I might use. See you guys later.